to have an objective understanding of quantum computers that fits in with the reality of our everyday life, we would need an objective understanding of quantum mechanics itself. But first, if we look at how ordinary computers work, we find that modern computers require data to be encoded into binary digits or bits. A bit is a basic unit of information in computing or digital communications. A bit can only have one of two values. The most common representation of these values are 0 or 1. The two values can also be interpreted as logical values such as true force, yes no, on off, or the signs positive and negative, or any two other value states. In information theory, one bit is typically defined as the uncertainty of a binary random variable that is 0 or 1 with equal probability until the information is gained when the value of such a variable becomes known. A quantum computer makes direct use of quantum mechanics such as superposition and entanglement to perform operations. Instead of having bits we have qubits or quantum bits that can be 0 and 1 at the same time. There are a number of physical objects that can be used as qubits like a single photon or an electron. Scientists have used the outermost electron of an atom as a qubit. It works because all electrons have magnetic fields. They are like little bar magnets and this property is called spin. They have spin up and spin down just like a classical bit having 0 or 1. But the big difference is that they can have spin up or spin down at the same time. And this is where the quantum computer gets its superior computing power from. There is no logical or classical explanation of why a single photon or electron can represent a quantum bit or qubit and therefore represent 0 and 1 at the same time. This video will put forward the idea that we don't have a logical explanation of this because we don't have a complete understanding of the nature of time as a physical process. The only explanation is that time is an emergent property with the future continuously coming into existence photon by photon within a universe of continuous creation in other words, the spontaneous absorption and emission of light forms a process of continuous change or energy exchange that we see and feel as the continuum of time. This gives us a logical or classical understanding of quantum mechanics. Quantum physics represents the physics of time as a physical process continuously unfolding at the quantum level of the atoms. Therefore, Quantum uncertainty, known as Heisenberg's uncertainty principle, is the same uncertainty we have with any future event that we can interact with, turning the possible into the actual, within our own reference frame. Because the photon of quantum mechanics is also the carrier that forms the movement of electromagnetic fields, this also gives us an objective understanding of why we can create electricity. The man that gave us AC current, Nikola Tesla, said, The day when we shall know exactly what electricity is will chronicle an event probably greater, more important than any other recorded in the history of the human race. In this theory, time and space are emergent properties formed by a physical process of continuous energy exchange with the future continuously coming into existence light photon by light photon. When light waves interact with matter it forms photon-electron couplings and the electron is the most spherical object in the universe. This theory predicts that this spherical symmetry or organization forms a low entropy that creates the possibility for the continuous increase in entropy or disorganization that we have in the second law of thermodynamics as time unfolds photon by photon.
Therefore we have an arrow of time for each reference frame or object. Even an individual rose will have its own arrow of time with a timeline from the past into the future. The universe is a continuum continuously coming into existence at the smallest energy level with each new light photon oscillation or vibration. This is what we are seeing when we see an artist at work. We are seeing new light photon oscillations or vibrations coming into existence relative to the energy and momentum of the artist. In this theory the individual is an interactive part of creation and because the photon is also the carrier of the electromagnetic force electrical potential is linked to our future potential with electrical activity in the brain representing the most advanced part of this universal process therefore conscious thought is always in the moment of now with a continuous stream of thoughts and ideas that can comprehend this process as time as an interactive process of continuous creation with a potential future infinity of possibilities this makes logical sense in this theory the zero represents zero time or t equals zero the moment of now formed by light interacting with matter the zero represents an infinite branching point with the positive numbers marching off forming a potential future with a square of probability the negative numbers receding towards a limitless past representing the positive and negative of electromagnetic waves this whole process can be seen as a process of spherical symmetry forming and breaking there is an infinite number of line symmetries within a sphere and also an infinite number of rotational symmetries this is where the infinities come from that we find in mathematics and this process also forms the potential infinity of possibilities and opportunities of everyday life it would be logical if time was formed by this process that represents a spontaneous absorption and emission of light that time would expand out in every direction in three-dimensional space with the expansion of the universe but this is not what we observe time is two-dimensional with a past and future and a timeline forming an arrow of time that modern physics cannot explain this line symmetry is formed because when the light comes in contact with matter it forms a photon electron coupling forming the magnetic moment or dipole moment this forms matter antimatter annihilation in just one direction forming the arrow of time within that reference frame when the spherical symmetry is broken it forms spiral symmetry forming the imperfect spiral symmetry that is visible in nature as the Fibonacci spiral because the process is universal intelligent life will form its own broken symmetry out of this process forming its own future relative to its energy and momentum of its own actions in this theory creation is truly in the hand and eye of the beholder please subscribe and rate it will help in the promotion of this theory that changes our view of the universe and our place within it